Docker allows you to build secure, modern applications. In this video, I will dig into how Docker Compose and networking let you quickly and easily build a fully featured and scalable app in a single file. In the recently released Docker 1.10 and Docker Compose 1.6, we added a number of features that make creating and running networks more secure, more performant, and much easier to create. As always, we added a lot of settings and flags you can use to help you optimize your networking experience. You can check out the details for these in the change logs linked below. However, there's a few key new features we would like to highlight. First up is DNS. When we introduced networking in Docker Engine, we populated a container's Etsy host files with service names. As of 1.10, we have switched to a much more robust DNS server embedded in each engine. This will allow our networks to more reliably discover services and scale farther. In Docker Compose 1.6, we brought networking out of experimental, so you no longer need to use the experimental networking flags when you do Docker Compose up. This flag hard-coded a single network. Let's see how this change changes everything. This is a sample of a compose file for Docker Compose 1.5. You'll see there's no explicit mention of a network. This meant that if you wanted to refer to a service in code, you had to refer to it specifically using the compose generated container name. In 1.6, we introduced a new version of the compose file. Services, networks, and volumes are now all specified at the top level, which allows services to specify which volumes and networks they use. This allows developers to build a fully functional multi-container, multi-host application in a single compose file. For IT operations teams, this has additional benefits. You can put containers on different networks. This allows you to isolate some services even more. For instance, in this example, the DB and Redis services are isolated only on the back tier network. With the addition of a few IP table rules, we can limit the attack services of our database machines in case the web tier was ever compromised. And to launch this, all you need is a simple compose file and to do Docker Compose up. We're really excited about these new changes to Docker Compose and networking. To find out more, check out our documentation, the change logs, and our video on the new compose file format. All of these are linked in the description for this video. And as always, if you have any questions, post them to the Docker forum where knowledgeable people help each other out.